Well, we've got our first caller holding for us. We've got Romeo holding for us from Roberta. Hi, Romeo. Good evening. Good evening. And what's your question for us tonight? Can you have more than one power of attorney, or would that be a conflict of interest? More than one power of attorney. I assume maybe for different people, he has a power of attorney. Right. Um, I mean, one person can hold more than one power of attorney if they hold it for different people. For instance, you might have your mother and your, your aunt or a cousin or something who have mm -hmm. all given you a power of attorney. Um, but I don't think one person should be giving out more than one power of attorney. Right. Right. If it works that way. Right. <laughs> So that would be something um, we've been talking about doing it, you know, making those preparations in advance, you know, right. not when yeah. you're kind of in dire straits and right. And, yeah. and, and I guess it could that's be a probably situation, what happens the most. It could be a situation where, you know, a brother and sister don't get along at all and you're the power of attorney for both of them. That might be a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, that might be what he's talking about. Yeah, in terms of a conflict yeah. of interest. Right. Yeah, especially if, they, yeah, if they're battling and don't get along. Right, and, yeah. yeah. And you got to act for either one of them or both. Puts them in a, you know, that, that, what is that person called, the one who has the power of attorney? Are they? The agent. Agent. Yeah. Okay, so the agent, yeah, might be in a pickle. Right. <laughs> All right. Well